wait, Maggie's sitting right. I'm just like, get the camera. I didn't right Owner, I, that's Maggie of uh, Defar. Is it? Why? I don't even know what to even say. This, this is bonkers. And Dominic, and to get this, I don't even know what I don't know what's happening right now. Okay. Spencer making a video. Hi, I see you guys in New York videos. <laughs> He's like going around and making a video. Of Brooklyn. Thank you for having us. I was just explaining. I'm like, this is what it's going to be like all night long. Okay. People block in the middle, and it's just the way. Yeah, that's it. Anyway. What does that have to wait? What do we do? There you have it. Far, probably. All right, Spencer hosts a pizza show. Potentially, maybe in pizza show. Here we have Scott from Scott's Pizza Tours. Hello. Um, I have to ask you, pizza show, that's like your thing, no? Is that Frank Pinello has the pizza show. So is this like a whole like legality trademark thing? <laughs> yes, like, I'm actually here to serve you with paper. <laughs> no, like seriously, is this like an actual like pizza show like Well, I the pizza show, thing? the pizza show on Munchies yes. is the name of that show. So you probably want to think of a different name. And How about the show about pizza? And pizza show, that's like the yeah. I'm from, they go to like Rome and New York yeah, they go and everywhere. And you have or you have a show from uh, I don't know who makes it, but it's uh, really dope. Yeah, really dope is on uh, is a thrillist. Or, it's it's a couple of years old now. I think yeah, you guys we have haven't done one in like three years. But you and Mark go way back. You guys do like the. Um, ramen noodle slices and whatever. <laughs> I'm sure it is. So Absolutely. I always start my episodes saying host of the pizza show, but like, is someone gonna sue me? Who knows, right? I think you're probably okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so Defara Pizza, um, this was like one of the places we had to go to, so I had to have Scott on. Corner of, uh, where are we, J Ave and- Yeah, uh, this is Avenue J and this is 15th Street. 15th, 15th Street in Midwood. Literally, we're gonna throw in the clip before maybe. Uh, Maggie and Dom Jr. Is that who it was? No, so that was Dino in the car with Maggie. Dino works for Maggie, makes pizza okay, and all yeah, that yeah. And stuff. But Maggie's the daughter, one of the daughters of Dom DeMarco, the founder of Defar. Right there. So, I mean, that's as real as you get. So, um, got the regular cheese wedge and the uh, square. So there it is. Here, it's uh. Look at that. By the way, I opened it like five minutes ago. The basil just comes right and hits you right in the face. All right, so. In a good way. In a good way, of course. All right, let's distribute these. I mean, what do we, we'll do, uh, we'll do the, the wedge first. Oh, look at this. Wow, full distribution. <laughs> look at that. You're gonna use a plate, of course. Whoa, well, I mean, you don't need a plate. Like the real way to do it, I mean, you just, just pick it up and just do one of these. I just am, I'm a rookie out here. It's okay. We, plate, oh, plate is a waste of time to me. <laughs> Forgot to mention, uh, first we did Prince Street, the industry, Nolita. How does it smell? It smells great. Phenomenal. I wanted to get that basil hit that you were bragging about, and now I got it. Let's check out the airplane. Airplane Ooh, little airplane, drip. I like that. I like take off a little bit of, you know, fuel leakage. Oh, yeah. All right. Get a good smell. Can I eat it? Okay, cool. Go what? I'm so hungry. Are you actually? No. This is my like. So pumped. This is my second slice today, fourth slice thus far. I'm not gonna lie, Scott. I'm all carved out. I've been eating. I've been eating pork buns, uh, what, Korean hot dogs. Um, mm. Like I'm. I don't even know what to say. Well, what I'm you gotta all, say is you I'm know, all food verbiaged out. But all that matters is when you're eating it, are you having a good time? That's it. Yes. No. I do know that most pizzerias use the grande cheese. A lot of them do, yeah. Do you know if they use grande here? They are using grande, yeah. Got it. So you do get the grande cheese. Tastes phenomenal. I'm not sure if I see... Do I see... Is that uh, parmesan? There's parm on top, yeah. Parm on right top. after the bake. Obviously, after the bake, they do the basil, the parm, and the oil. Obviously, you do the uh, just the plain tomato sauce. I think it's just tomato, salt, pepper. Maybe oregano. I'm not in the shop making the sauce, so who knows? It's super basic. That's Dom's, I mean, that's Dom's secret, I guess. <laughs> right? he, his, his secret is that he doesn't have any secrets, is that they, they just know how to make pizza. Valid. Like, this has a great bake, great balance. Oh, while I'm making my pizzas, I've noticed that a lot of these pizzerias do like, uh, like a 500 degree, 550 degree bake. I'm assuming what this is. Um, 
you know, comparing to what I've made at my own house and stuff like that, and all the other pizzerias I've tried out. Yeah. So who knows? Usually it's 550 to 600. I mean, this is New York. <laughs> this is New York. Get, get the bus. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just what's happening. I don't know who was blocking the bus, but whatever. They're still there. <laughs> yeah, 550, 600 around there. Get in on the crumb. You see that crumb? When you, how often are you making pizza at home? Oh, Scott, yeah, I'm making pizza like basically every other day. Like, I'm here on my own now. He's trying to master his no, uh, like, seriously. So, like, his dough right now. Like it started off by me watching, I think it was, it had to have been your YouTube series. I don't know which one it was, but there's okay, a lot of YouTube stuff out there with you in it. And then I started doing Frank Manello's stuff, yeah. um, which he did like the whole pizza show thing. Um, and I'm trying to master like the perfect crumb uh, pizza dough with like the pre-ferment and the two-day cold ferment. Oh, so, hell yeah. Like, I mean, it's like... What are you looking for in your final pizza? Huh? Something like this. Because like, <laughs> this is the opposite of what you're doing. No, like... I'm this looking, is short fermentation, no pre-ferment, nothing fancy. So I'm looking for like a thin a thin slice with a good bubble, bubble action here, which is like, I think that's what they call crumb, maybe. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I mean, I don't know. What are you doing right it, now? Like, what's your recipe right now? It's to my understanding that pre-ferment basically just gets you a better like texture in the in the crumb. Pre-ferment should shorten the total fermentation time because like, let's say you're making a two-day fermentation dough. Yeah. If you use a pre-ferment, you can cut down that time because you've already done some of the work in advance. Got it. That's it. So, like, I usually don't use a pre-ferment at home. Mm -hmm. I just do direct, direct fermentation, flour, salt, water, yeast. I Sometimes I'll like do a mix. Active or instant yeast? Instant always. That's what I do. For me. Yeah, and that's what I do. Literally, I'm like, yeah. But um, look, as long as it tastes good, it's good. As long as you're making it a couple days in advance, great. You don't even need the pre-format. Flashback, we're going to mix that up with what Nick said yesterday, because Nick from the industry gave us uh, gave us uh, fermentation notes. Mm, so we're going to compare those. Were they telling you like, because um, they do, a sourdough culture yeah. and a beet and a poolish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no idea what either of those were before I started doing this. So. Did you, but you know now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's cool. I mean, when I'm doing it at home, usually I do my mix. I build it up over maybe 20 minutes or so, and then a room temperature bulk ferment yep. for an hour or two. Whenever I see it's getting a little luscious, uh huh. And then I'll either stick it in the fridge, ball it the next day, or I'll ball it right there and then leave it in the fridge for a day or two. And you do those, I believe you do like um, Zoom calls throughout your uh, pizza tour, like doing, making pizzas? Uh, not during the tour, but like after. Well, or like a separate session. I do, yeah, totally different sessions where people can do like a Zoom led pizza class. Got it. So I'm like teaching the pizza making for my house. Got it. So check out and check out Scott's Pizza Tours uh, either. Is it, are you doing in-person pizza tours now? Oh yeah. In-person and online. By the way, totally zoomed by the wedge. It was phenomenal. I don't want to dis I don't want to disrespect the wedge, but we also have to get in the square. Mm -hmm. Now this. Now this. Now this. Did you get a bite yet at all? Bite? She's like not bring me this. <laughs> This? I mean, what do you even say about that? That is just like... So this is why I was this, like... This rise is unreal. Well, I was like, you gotta meet me here later, because earlier in the day, the dough hasn't quite risen up in the... Mm. Oh. So it's a it's a thinner Sicilian. Mm. This it changes day, throughout the day. Mm. Yeah. yeah. He did say that, and she mentioned we should do that with the industry. But I was like, we're on a time schedule. Whatever. All right, not much So, anyways, the bar of pizza, it's gotta be like a Mount Rushmore pizza. It's a special place, been here since 65, same family, on this little corner spot. The buildings changed ownership, but they never left. Oh, really? It's like a really special place. Yeah. I remember I used to take a trek out here when I lived in New Jersey. Yeah. It used to be like a big deal, coming all the way out. Yeah. Now I live a few minutes away, it's still a big deal. <laughs> Usually, from what I've read online, there's like at least a 25 minute wait, at least. I guess we got lucky. Um, yeah. Wait like two minutes, two, three, five minutes. It's February. February. Timing was right Thursday outside. night. People yeah. honking outside. Whatever. What would you prefer here at the far? The or wider the, the the wider the square. I think the, the square is kind of more consistent. But today the wedge was rocking. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this right now. I haven't had such a puffy one here in hmm. maybe ever. This might be the thickest one I ever had here. 
I mean, this this slice is the real deal. I need a bite of that one. Yeah. Smart. Go and put the camera next to it so you can you can hear mm. it maybe ASMR. Probably not. Mm. Really? That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what else is on your mm -hmm. hit list? What other shops are you doing? Well, I mean, obviously. We'd love to hit them all, but like, you just can't, you, you just can't eat all the. All the we leave food. tomorrow, so if you could recommend we one, tomorrow. what would you, like you say? Scars yet? No. no. Did you do Mama's too? We were no. gonna go to Scars for dinner, but L and B. No. No. That's too far. Where is that around here? Around Down around on Eighty Sixth Street. Oh, might be a little bit too far for us, but. Might do uh, Scars tomorrow. What time are we leaving tomorrow? It's in Lower East Side. Four thirty. You can make it. Yeah. It's okay. not far from, it's like 20 minutes from where you're staying. Uh, where's the, or where's the, where's JFK compared to LaGuardia? LaGuardia is up here in Queens and then JFK is like all the way down here in Queens. Got it. Should've flew to JFK, have more time. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this, uh, this Defara. Like I said, it's gotta be a Mount Rushmore. You put Dom's face right there on one of the one of four. I give Defara pizza. Listen, I studied the pizza like it was a midterm, like before coming here. So I know what it's I know what it was like. I knew what to expect basically. Give it like a You gotta rate both slices. Uh, and that might be illegal. Mm. Which Dom, one's better? Dom want what which pizza came first? Gotta be I don't know. Gotta, gotta be the wedge. Are and we there actually, Probably. I'm, I'm actually not the square might have came first. Right? It's, it's I, I easier. I think here it's more likely that the round was worth, but like, I don't know, I wasn't there. We should call, we'll call Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maggie. Um, I'll give the the wedge like a nine, Whoa. five? Listen, this, this Dave Portnoy guy, I'm telling you, he's great at pizza scores, but he doesn't give enough nines. I'm telling you. You gotta give nines when they're, he, when- he, he really holds them off. He, like, I mean, I, I, I get it, you know. Chrissy Yamaguchi or whatever his figure skating, you gotta give respect when it's due. But listen, I'll give a nine when it's when it's when it's deserved. You just did nine five. Wow. Nine five on the wedge, and maybe like a listen. By the way, I think I've mentioned this previously. I love a good square. I just don't rate them as often because like, let's face it, pizza's normally round than square. Or pizzas are nine three on the oh. square. Whoa. That was no joke. No joke. How did I get to be here during two, this? Two nines, two nines, one Defara. I, I should just make that a saying. What do you give it? If you want to give it. So don't rate. You don't give it. No. You don't give it. Oh, I, out of all, can I tell you, I'm loving it. I think out of all the Defara experiences I've ever had, this one is like a real good one. It's got a good bag. So I've had some slices here that I didn't love. I've had some slices that totally ruled my world. Do you do this your tours early in the day or is it all throughout the day? Early and late. Early depends. and late? Yeah. Yeah. Public tours are early. Private tours are later. I see. Hmm. And uh, tell us more about your pizza tour and stuff. Go all around the city and, uh, and go into the pizzeria, talk about the kitchen, talk about the oven, fermentation method, flour selection, tomato selection, cheese prep, like every detail. I totally forgot to mention, like you're a total like uh, pizza uh, like historian, basically. I think I'm, I saw something saying you have like a bunch of like pizza notes in your house or like I, I do a lot artifacts. of I do a lot of research and have like yeah I have a decent little collection like pizza awesome. artifacts and stuff because it's like important information about this stuff. You can't just do a tour and take people to a place, feed them, oh, yeah. and call it a day. Oh yeah, you don't need a human to do that for you. What we do is more about. History, science, culture, oh, like yeah. the background information. Oh, yeah. Cool. All, All right. right. Thanks. This is great because I get that. Where can we find your tours? Scottspizzatours.com. Right. Scottspizzatours on Instagram. It's all there. It's easy as that. You just like, give them a follow. Check it out. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Thanks Appreciate for having me. Thanks for inviting me. Anytime. Um, make sure you check out the Faras, J Avenue J, J Ab, and uh, East 15th. If you're in Soho, take the Q train, which takes you all the way down. It's like 13 stops. That's our view.